You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is a quick click. This is the Zebra Blen, B-L-E-N, little b, capital L, E-N. According to Jet Pens, where I did not buy this, uh, but where you can pick these up for $250, uh, this is a uh, an extra- enjoy an extraordinarily stress-free writing experience with the Zebra Blend, created in, cl- created in collaboration with Sato Oki, an internationally celebrated Chinese-Canadian designer. The blend isn't just beautiful to look at, it's been carefully engineered to eliminate all the little rattles and vibrations that can distract us from writing and inflict necessary uh, unnecessary stress and frustration. The name is inspired by the Japanese word... Berenai, which means non-vibrating. So, uh, interesting, uh, interesting sort of uh, background on this pen, and that they got like some design consult and stuff like that. A little ink vent on my finger. Uh, but I think this is, uh, I think this is a really pretty pen. That's why I, that's why I picked it up in the store. I was like, oh, I should get one of these. Okay, so the top of it, very oblong. You can see this oval zebra 0. 0.5. This is an extremely fine 0. 0.5. If you were thinking like, ah, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5 is too wide for me. Nah, not on the blend. Uh, it's very, it's very fine. In fact, it's finer than some 0.38. So I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, this is the uh, the area that kind of compresses when you click it, which I think is classy. I like when you have these sort of you know changes in depth and pattern and such on an otherwise pretty stark pen. You are going to get a little bit of uh, like lint and stuff accumulating on this uh, it's like rubbery grip right here, but it's a very comfortable thing to hold and write with. I, I really like the feel of this pen. And you can see there's sort of a transparent and white nose cone here. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, inside this pen is an, is an ink refill that I haven't seen before. This is the Zebra NC. Uh, and I looked around and I don't have any other refills like this. So I also realized that I don't have that many Zebra ballpoint pens. I have a bunch of their uh, their, uh, their gel pens because I love the Sarasa dry so much and the regular Sarasa, but uh, I don't really have any other ball points and they're pretty darn good. This is from my uh, 701 Zebra, which has the Zebra F uh, refill, which is obviously way different. So uh, I went looking around for some other pens to like see what's inside of them and things like that. And um, it turns out that this is a fairly, uh, this is an unusual, where's my pen that I was going to compare this to? I lost it. Uh, let's see how it looks in this one. <laughs> I had a pin here to compare it to. Uh, but you'll see, uh, I think. Yep. If you look here, uh, the tip area here is the same width as like a bunch of other things. This is just from uh, Uniball Signo. Uh, and then, I mean, I compared it to uh, a couple of other things, Sarasas, uh, the juice, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it seems like this area is the same. However, uh, it's a ballpoint and not a gel, and it is a much f- smaller diameter. So depending on uh, the sort of body you want, might want to put this refill in, it may or may not fit. So just be aware of that it is very it is a very thin refill, but ballpoints are like that. They can just be thinner than a uh, than a gel. All right. I think this has to do with the consistency of the, the material it writes with. Let's put this guy back together right quick. Shunk. Quick and easy. Uh, it has a nice click. Not overbearing, but certainly there. And I got to say, I really like this sort of like bright white aesthetic that a lot of these companies are going for. This is a new Uniball 1 that I talked about in a quick click before. Uh, and I think it's very pretty as well. In fact, the, the white aesthetic really kind of called to me. Heck, I bought this <laughs> I bought this mechanical pencil. I'm like, oh, that looks good. So and I, I bought this Sarasa Grand, which you know isn't that, that great. I actually like the blend better. So um, here it is uh, compared to a bunch of other pens in terms of size. So this is a Pilot Juice, which is a pretty normal sized pen for uh, for these kinds of things. We got the G2 over here, which is the same size as all the rest. We got the comparatively large um, uh, Inner Gel here from Pentel, which I like Inner Gels a lot. I've been writing with one recently. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember why I like these so much. So yeah, blend totally, totally normal size. Don't have to worry about it being an outlier or something like that. Let's zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This is the Zebra Blend. My handwriting looks kind of spidery in this, and I don't feel like I have good control. And that's because it is so fine. Let me grab a 0.38. This is a Pilot Juice 0.38. This blend is supposed to be a 0.5. 
this 0.5 is smaller than that 0.8. <laughs> so uh, I like this Pilot Juice 0.38. I think that's pretty good. Uh, but man, well, let's see how it is next to this uh, 0.4. This is the Sakura ball sign. Uh, yeah, I think this 0.5 is, is wider than that 0.4 even. So, uh, or rather, uh, narrower than that 0.4. So, yeah, it's it's lull. Uh, I think it, it looks really nice. Uh, my only complaint is that it's very fine. So if you love fine nibs, and I'm sure that you out there do, uh, you know, this is um, that's a little... It's a little bit too fine. So anyway, my only complaint about this is it's too fine. So I might pick up a 0.7 at some point, but I do really like the look of the blend. And I like that it's called the blend. I don't know why. It just kind of cracks me up. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it for this quick click. See you later. Peace out.